You know, printing rigid poster boards may be an integral part of your business. Let me take a moment with the SureColor T7770D and I'll show you how. Once the shelf on the front of the printer has been raised up to accept poster board, we go to the menu system to load it. And that's done by selecting a slot on the top one, which I'll select roll one because it was open, but then I scroll down and I hit poster board right here. And there's two things to adjust very, very quickly. So the first one is the size. We want to load a 30 by 40 inch poster board. So I select the size, I go to others, and then that option is right here. Another poster board option would be 24 by 30, but we're not doing that in this case. So we're going to do a 30 by 40, and I'll make sure that the size is set appropriately. Second thing we want to do is make sure the paper type is selected appropriately. So if it's not, you would go into more paper types, you would go to others, and you would find, make sure that we have enhanced matte board, which is right here. So enhanced map board is selected, which is what we want to load. The size is 30 by 40, and we're ready to go. So hit OK. What the printer is going to do is go ahead and get itself ready to accept the poster board. We're going to load it into the front. And once that's loaded, you hit complete, and you're ready to go. So I take the blank sheet of poster board, and I just make sure the printer is set up for poster board in the front using this latch right here. So it looks like it's ready to go. Then taking the poster board edge, I put it right on that flat sheet right here and then start to put it in. And there's a pretty neat trick where I can go inside and I can see exactly what's happening in the printer. Everything's all lined up. And then I just put it right to my indicator notch right here and hit complete. And that's it. It's going to go ahead and load the poster board for me. So now that your board is loaded into the printer, Take your file and place it in your printing program. In this instance, we're using Photoshop. I go to File and Print, and the first dialog box appears. In this dialog box, it's important to make sure that this is set to the type of paper that you're using. In this case, we're using Enhanced Matte Poster Board, so I'll set it to that setting. And then up here by the printer, you go to Print Settings, and then you'll see a couple different options in here. The first of being setting your paper size. So for poster board, there are two types of Epson matte poster boards available. There's 24 by 30 and there's 30 by 40. In this case, we have loaded 30 by 40. So you want to make sure that your change paper size setting is set to 30 by 40 because that's what we loaded into the printer. Next, down here, your source should be poster board. You have options for rolls, but make sure that this is set to the last section, which is poster board. Paper size is selected as 30 by 40, which we set up in the top. And then media category, go to others, and that's where your options for enhanced matte poster board will be to set your media category and media type. The last thing you want to do is set levels, which is uh, quality, high quality, or max quality as options. Max quality is going to run a little bit slower, but give you the best quality in your print output. Quality is going to run a little bit faster, but the print quality is a little bit less. Any of these settings will give you a very nice output on your poster. After that, we select OK, and then print, and this will send the print job over to the printer, and your poster board will start to print.